Hi, this is Sean. Welcome to GuitarReferenceGuide.com. In today's lesson, I'm going to be taking you through my version of the song Yesterday by Lennon and McCartney. This is a really fun one. In this version of the tune, I'm doing a lot of Hendrix style lines, a lot of thirds, sixths, chord inversions, etc. I did a PDF for the tune. It's at my website. If you click the link below, it'll take you to my website. The PDF is there. If you pick up the PDF, it'll be a lot easier to follow along follow along with the video and learn the song and also help me out a lot. The other thing is you're going to want to tune the guitar down to D. So you're going to want to tune the whole guitar down a whole step. That way the song, that way you'll be playing in the right key of the song and it'll sound a lot more like the tune. Because this is a more advanced video, I'm not going to be saying every note of every chord. It's going to be more about concepts, okay? You know, second inversion, A chord, uh, G major 7 with a with a B in the bass, uh, etc. So it's going to be less about me spelling out everything and um, just explaining the concepts. But I'm still going to play through uh, pretty slow, so I'm sure you'll be able to get it, especially if you get the PDF. So if you like what you see in this video, please subscribe, click the link below, and let's do this. So we're going to start with the intro. I'm just going to play through it really slow, and then um, and then break it down. So here I'm essentially just playing a G chord, playing with my fingers here and I gradually get louder. G chord first inversion, playing G chord second inversion, but with harmonics here, with the 12th fret, and sliding into the G chord up here. 14, uh, 14, 16, 15, 15, just my G chord right there. Then I'm into the verse, which is going to sound like this. Okay, so here I'm playing G add nine chord, melody on top. Then I'm going to play this Hendrix style riff based on a G chord moving down to my F sharp minor. Now, an F sharp minor would normally be like this, but I'm adding the melody on the top to get the B there. F sharp minor with a, with a 4 in it, sus4 or 11. My B9. Melody's on the top of all these chords. B9 again. Melody. E, e minor 9. Melody. And then harmonic to restate the melody. Now I'm going to walk down to C major 7. Okay, so the second half of this is after the minor 9 and we hit this. Do this ha I do the, I pluck the 14th fret, hammer pull off, and then I'm coming to a C major 7 here. Melody's on the top, then I do a series of 6 off of a D7 chord. Then I come back to a G sus4 chord, slide with an octave up to the melody note, 12th fret and 15th fret, and then back to G major 7, G with a F sharp in the bass, now the chords, E minor 7, I'm playing like this, then I'm playing E minor 7 like this, but I'm playing from the low E string, A add 9, A with a C sharp in the bass, or uh, we could also call that first inversion. Back to the C chord. 
but I'm hammering into the third just to give it an embellishment. Second finger sliding into the melody, back to the G. Now I'm going to have a line that's going to connect us to the next verse. And that was just essentially a G major scale. Open G, but then I come to the to the uh, G sharp to bring us back into the melody. And this part would sound uh, like this. I'll go a little slower over this part. Playing the regular G chord, sliding from uh, seven to five, seven, five, slide to four, open, hammer first fret, and then I'm into the next verse. So we had a E minor seven here, E minor seven here. We had the A at the A at nine, A C sharp in the bass, C with the embellishment back into here. Now we're into the next part, the melody. I'm going to play like this, and then I'm going to pick through a G chord, another Hendrix style riff. I'm going to start with a fifth here, two and four, now thirds. Now I'm going to play an E minor nine here. Then right after I hit this, I'm going to hit an open E and then reiterate the melody with a hammer and come back to the note. Another Hendrix style riff to bring us back to C sharp. So that's going to be like this fifth fret and seventh fret. Now I'm playing a C major seven. So right after that, I'm just going to I'm going to play through the the rest of that and then play it really slow. So after we do the uh, And that would bring us into the next part. So uh, after we come out of the, the Hendrix riff into the C major seven, we have a D seven, thirds, the melody, sus, uh, this is a G sus four, to a regular G. And there's my melody again, right on the top here at the, the A note. Minor third. And then over this part, I'm going to play uh, a D and a B, C sharp and an A, and then I'm going to hammer from the second fret to the fourth fret into the melody right here. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, now we have a C5 chord move over to a G and I'm voicing it like that. Now we're into the bridge section, which will be uh, F sharp minor, 11, D7, E minor 9, D, C, E sus, A minor uh, 6, D7, G6. Then I'm going to go F sharp minor 11. Now I'm going to play a B9 to a F13. Now the melody is going to go lower. I'm going to play an E minor here, but I'm really trying to get that melody note in there. That's the most important note playing an A minor shape here at the 5th fret. It's really a D chord. And then the F sharp in the, is the melody. Moving down to the C. The melody's on the top, it's the G here. So that part would be... One, two, three, 
One more time. And then we're going to go to an E minor. And there I'm just playing, uh, barring these two, fourth fret, doing that, coming back to a D7. These are the melody notes, the F sharp, then just picking through D7, D, G add nine, and coming up, hammering onto the four. And then we're going to be in the last verse. So I'm going to take you through that one more time, that last part. So it would be a. Uh, No, sorry. The melody. G7. D. And then the G add nine. To a, to a G add nine right here. And then I kind of pick through it and then just kind of have fun hammering off of the 13 and the four melodies on the top here on the fifth fret. You my pinky to hammer those. Now I'm going to play. No. Playing an F sharp sus here. I'm moving up to accommodate the melody is the C sharp. So I'm just going to play through this. So for that part, um, I'm going to move up, start with the C, I'm going to start with the G add 9. Um, now I'm playing the F sharp sus melodies right here, moving down to this voicing which is 5, 4, 4, and 6 to a regular, this is just a F sharp minor uh, 9, with the A in the bass. B7, got to get the melody in here. B7 with a D sharp in the bass. Back to the E minor. And here I'm playing that like this. So I'm playing open, 10, 9, 11. I'm putting my pinky here. Just picking through the chord, then walking down again. C major 7. D. Now I'm going to do this little give and go where I'm playing a pedal tone. So after I hit the first melody, which is here, G note, I'm going to play. Uh, I'm going to play the D note, C note, D note, B note on the D string, D note, A note on the D string. Now I'm going to bend, I'm bending from the 9th fret to the 10th fret, then I'm playing the melody note here which is the 7th fret, right after I do that, I'm playing just the 3rd of G, giving it a little wiggle, then moving down to the, to the uh, F sharp minor like that. Now I'm going to play, uh, e, now I'm, we're winding down, this is the end of the tune. I'm just going to play through it and then uh, break it down. And then I'm going to play E minor, uh, I'm just going to play through the whole thing. through the ending there. All right, so then that's going to be like this. We're going to play after the after the pedal tones. E minor 7. Dropping the melody on getting the melody on top of the uh, the B note right there. Open A. A add 9. Melody right here. 
up to a C chord. Plucking the melody note here. Now I'm going to play this uh, cascading Hendrix style riff. All based on major pentatonic. minor, E minor with a G sharp in the bass, and I also have the four down here, A, A, got to get the C sharp in the bass, playing a B, um, playing a C triad here, adding the six here, and then I'm playing a line to end the tune. After I hit the six, Just slot going through a G major scale, and then the ending would be like this. All Gs. Harmonics. And then I'm hitting the bass note there. So for the last part, after the line, Uh, right after I hit that, I'm going to play the uh, E minor, A, A triad, G major scale, I'm going to play G, 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 next voicing of G, uh, Harmonics, outlining the G from uh, this position here, tenth position, up to the triad at the fifteenth fret. Then we're moving all the way up to the nineteenth fret, and then I'm hitting the bass note there. And that would be yesterday. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks so much for checking me out at guitarreferenceguide.com. And that's about it. All right.